Hello friends, welcome back after a long time. I received a query that a user has five cells and if you put some text in one of the cells, the other cell uh, should have a red background and a dash in it and that cell color should be white and the text should appear as it is. So if I'm entering my name or some other text in a cell, that format remains same, the other cells have a dash as a value and red color as a background and in other cells if I write anything it remain as it is nothing is happening even if I try to copy and paste some content multiple cells in that range it won't uh, it should behave in an ideal way so this is the example that uh, I will create from scratch so I'll take another sheet here nothing is working so I'll write my logic here I'll open VB editor and if I go to uh, the sheet of this workbook, you will see that in sheet 1, the logic is already written, but we will be writing uh, in the other sheet. The name is sheet 4. So, we first of all need an event on the change of value of a cell. So, for that, I will select worksheet change event. So, in this worksheet change event, whenever user changes a value in any cell of this sheet 4, uh, this sub procedure would be called but we need to call it or to execute it only for certain rows and columns so we are specifying the range that column should be 4 and row range should be between uh, 3rd and 7th so it's greater than 2 and less than 8 so if it is in between this only then execute the part otherwise do not do anything so now uh, the first of all uh, we need to clear all the content from the range so the range is p3 till b7 uh, it's d3 till d7 so we'll clear out we will change the background color to uh, white and we'll uh, clear the cells also so the next thing is now we want to uh, change the other values as dash and their background colors as red so before I change any value in the specified range I need to disable the events otherwise it will keep on calling this event over and again and it would be an infinite loop so I will disable the event uh, for a few uh, steps uh, of execution that I want to do here in between so I will iterate it through the number of uh, cells so the cell are in column D and in row 3 to 7 so I am iterating it through 3 to 7 and if my target row is not is equal to current row which is I then in that case uh, I will change the value to dash otherwise I will keep the value as it is and I will also uh, change the background color also for this uh, cell so I'll change the value to dash and I will change the background color using cells i comma 4 dot interior dot color index let's say I want to make it red so I'll keep it as 3 so now let us try this if I go back to the workbook and sheet 4 if I put any value in one of the cells, the other four values become red as a background and values become dash. As I keep on changing the values, it is going to execute the sub procedure and it will work like this. So thank you for Patrick Gomes for suggesting me to create a video for this example. And thank you very much all of you for watching this video. Goodbye.